Good evening and welcome to another video by Raisha UK, the channel that gets under the skin of Uber. I've had a few messages actually and this is one of the reasons I want to do this video. Uh, and we're going to talk about this uh, partnership or mm. this recognition deal, they call it, between the union GMB and Uber the company. Now, this is what it is. It is a recognition uh, deal. This is not a buyout like we've seen Uber do with, um, what's that company called? That spineless, modelless um, autocab. You know, it's nothing like that. This is a recognition deal. A recognition deal meaning that Uber right now will recognize a union to represent its drivers. Now, um, as I said, let's start off this. This, uh, this is an opinion channel. You know, it is me just giving my opinion. I'm not going to um, try and tell you that if you should join a union because I'm, this is, these are the messages I've been getting. Shall I, you know, is it, is it, shall I join a union? Uh, is GMB what, what they're going to do for us and all that sort of thing? You know, this is not my job. Uh, and so, end of the day, you know, it's, it's up to you how you um, deal with it if you want to join uh, the union or not. Now, so let's start off. We will know the actual long-term goal of Uber. I've explained this on numerous uh, videos uh, and how they're going to try and um, capitalize on more sectors. You know, they've done this with the cab industry. Uh, they've done it with the food delivery industry. And there's more industry, more lucrative industries uh, that can be captured through Uber all through the powerful uh, app they possess because that there contains everything people's details banking details where they go how they go what they do everything is within that app and uber will capitalize on that as soon as someone registers with them and they have millions and millions of users and the sectors I'm on about are basically, you've seen them going into the freight industry. Um, you've seen them uh, recently going into uh, the career industry as well. They'll, they'll exploit that a bit more. We're not seeing too much about it. But the, 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 the potential uh, out there for these kind of uh, sectors they're going is enormous and it's very very lucrative you know you look at the rental in um, uh, rental sector they want to go to uh, as in like vehicle rentals and all that sort of thing uh, where they you know someone could just press a button and the car will come and they could just drive it away um, you know so that's going to put a, uh, the car rental people under huge uh, pressure you look at the financial sector they're going into um, I mean recently you've probably seen that we drivers now could only insure our cars through a certain amount of insurers eliminating other competitors so they are already at that but the bigger picture isn't that on the insurance side it's insurance to the general public the users of uber app you know where someone could actually um, insure the cars insure the buildings insure whatever they wanted to do the cattle whatever uh, just by pressing a button and so you could see what i mean by um the future of uber it is you know there's big plans for Uber and this is what it is uh, coming back to the video about this recognition deal um, because they need to they need to have things in place to tackle the obstacles they're going to face uh, going forward because the gig economy you know the on-demand the job service and um, let me just let that go through Right, I'm going to talk about um, this thing, uh, some on other video actually, how ridiculous the prices are these days. But let's leave that for a, for a side here. So what I was saying, Uber needs to make sure that going forward, they, they have uh, certain uh, plans in place because whatever, however they're going to move forward, there's going to be obstacles and the plans are there to tackle them obstacles. Um, and just to make sure that, you know, the market they're going to capture, you know, isn't, um, um, it's, it's done so seamlessly, you know, nothing's, it's on its way. Now, 
So I want to talk about how this all fits in with the GMB union. Now, I've got nothing against GMB um, uh, at all, really. Um, but, uh, I mean, I was watching a Twitter video uh, from one of the representative, Steve Garlic, I think his name was. Um, very unprofessional video, actually, just slamming all the, <laughs> all the unions down and everything. Um, you know, and uh, and you wonder why he was doing that, because... You are going to get people having digs at you, especially how you arranged this deal with Uber. Um, you know, and even the Uber drivers asking the same questions. Uh, why wasn't they given an option, really, uh, to, um, you know, vote on so um, you know, um, on the, on that on that deal? Uh, why was it just purely GMB? Why not let four or five? unions come out you know give their point of view what they're going to do for drivers and let them drivers vote who they wanted to uh, wants them to represent but this was all done behind closed doors and once something like this i mean we know, we know uber that's all they do is behind closed doors but once something like this is struck between uber and um union obviously people are going to have a you know start asking questions so um a bit unprofessional on steve's side there but um you know um, it is what it is, really. You know, years ago, unions were very powerful. Union reps, they couldn't even get a job anywhere else. That's how well-known they were. Now, I'm not sure what the actual GMB, the format of the GMB deal is with Uber. Are they going to have offices uh, GMB offices located within the green light hub uh, so where a driver could actually just go in there and you know try and they, they will help them solve the problems I'm not sure uh, but whatever it is how they're going to promote a GMB you probably receive an email uh, to join GMB um, and we could just subscribe to them and the money will be automatically taken away from your um, income and you know is it value for money you know what benefits do drivers uh, get what sort of problems can unions uh, solve these are questions you're probably asking but i have a different perspective and i want to lay my cards on the table here i don't think this is going to work and you might be asking why uh, and, and it's simple the reason I don't think it's going to work because I know the devil I've been sleeping with the devil for the last six years we all have I don't think GMB have a clue what they're actually going into they've probably been influenced by Uber and telling them how they could reach the one million uh, members uh, club you know, all them sort of things. But once GMB are in there, they will be frustrated, angered, and the realization what their actual job is. That's gonna what that's gonna hit them. And it is not to represent the drivers. What they will realize is it's actually to represent Uber. Let me just go and do this job. Okay, let's finish this video off. Um, so, this is what it is. I reckon GMB will pretty much quickly realize that their reputation is going to be on the line here. Um, and they all will also find that Uber just doesn't listen to anyone. It does not listen to what you got to say, what anyone got to say. It's already made his mind up. That's Uber. You know what I mean? If they haven't made their mind up, there's something wrong already. So uh, GMB will realize that very, very quickly. They'll be, you know, thrown the few uh, uh, traits now and then uh, for them to, you know, nibble at. Uh, for instance, um, the facial recognition system, uh, the failure uh, of that facial recognition. Uh, but the problem is, well, the reality is that the court has already made the decision for them to be reinstated. 
GMB will probably represent the drivers, you know, and making sure that they're coming back on again onto the system. But that's not that's the course has already made the decision. So them sort of um, cases you'll see being highlighted by GMB saying how wonderful they are, but the reality is completely different. GMB will be solely based on them quarterly meeting on how much noise is being produced out on the open. The less noise people are making, the drivers are making, the more GMB will be rewarded. They are purely a noise stopper. You know, they have to put the lid on the jar. And that's how Uber is going to judge them on. Uber, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what all Uber does. And I would say to GMB, really, look, you really don't know Uber they will be hard to handle you know trust me they are very very hard to handle um this is not your asda you're dealing with um your resource how much you got the manpower they will be stre stretched very much you know uber will run you around the whole of the field over and over again so um, that's what it is and that's my views and I'll speak to you guys very soon bye bye now